The rapid growth of large language models, each specialized for distinct capabilities such as reasoning, creativity, code, or latency, has created a new challenge. How to automatically decide which model to use for each query? Traditional routing methods often fall short because they rely on rigid benchmarks that ignore human preferences or subjective quality measures. Moreover, these approaches typically consider only a limited set of models, making them less effective in dynamic production-grade environments where multiple NLMs coexist. As a result, users and organizations struggle to balance quality, cost, and responsiveness when deploying multi-model systems. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. If you just search with model router or routing or cut Nemo, you will find multiple videos on the channel which have been discussing hands-on various tools for the solution of this problem which I just mentioned. This new model Arch Router 1.5 billion introduces a preference aligned routing framework that intelligently selects the best model for a given user request. This model learns to map each query to a domain, and it could be any legal, coding, healthcare, or whatever, and then an action that what exactly you wanted it to do summarization or translation, coding, bug fixing. These structured labels are tied to user-defined preferences that guide routing decisions. So you can have your own LLM router in a fraction of time with as little effort as possible. And I will show you how you can get it installed locally and then create a router with a simple text prompt. So let's get started. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let's install all the prerequisites in the virtual environment which I have just created. And while that happens, let's have a look at our sponsors who are iGent, that is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. While that installation finishes, let's talk a bit more about these labels which are offered by this Arch Router 1.5 billion. These structured labels are tied to user-defined preferences, as I mentioned, and that is how you can have a system to route prompts transparently and adaptively to the most suitable model. Whether prioritizing accuracy, cost or speed, with state-of-the-art performance on various conversational data sets, this seems like a good open source AI native proxy that enables seamless, configurable and production-ready routing across diverse LLM environments. But again, don't rely on its output alone. Make sure that you have guardrails in place. Anyway, I will show you in the hands-on what I mean. Let's wait for all of these prerequisites to finish installing, and then we will move forward. Let me launch my Jupyter Notebook, and then we will download the model. Okay, so let's download the model and its tokenizer. And the model is now downloaded. Let's now do the inference. Now, this is where all the magic happens. So you see, this is where you define the task for the model that it needs to follow the routes between these tags, which are XML tags, custom defined ones. One thing you need to make sure that if you're defining your own router, you have to preserve this prompt template. Otherwise, this might not work. And they're very rigid about prompt because the reason being, this is all being prompt oriented and prompt driven and that is how they have fine-tuned the model and this is a prompt format where it is telling it various instructions to limit the scope and to make sure that model responds as per this requirement and then model need to um, name the route it needs to go through the route description to find the best match and from there these are the different route configs and this is 
where you can define your own so for example this is for code generation that this is the description this is the task it is going to select based on the user prompt so if the user's prompt contains anything related to code generation it is going to give it this task or related to bug fixing performance optimization api help and all this stuff now once so it is just going to return you this task from there you can have simple if then else or switch statement to call the relevant model if you really think about it this is not really a very very hardcore system so pretty easy to implement and this is what they have done and this model only does routing nothing else so don't use it for any other general purpose task only use it for the routing so let me run this to see what happens and i'll just go down to see so for example if user has asked something like fix this module there is some random module and then this is what user has asked so basically this is related to bug fixing so let's see if we get the task as bug fixing or not after model encodes it input model generates the output and then returns the result back after decoding so we should be expecting bug fixing if not then we will see but let's check it out and there you go it has returned us bug fixing which is good and it is very quick as soon as i click on it it returns the response and that is um what gives this one an edge because you don't want uh, of course you can implement it by your own but you need a speed you need real branching of bifurcation and your router has to be lightweight so that you don't really spend time on router because you also have to uh, take care of time to first token and all that stuff so that there will be as little latency as possible okay let's try out with another one okay next up i'm going to ask you to create a hello world python program and if you go up you will see this should uh, go with code generation and then new code snippet so i'm also going to you know start this nv top just to see the vram consumption it is running and it is already done very quickly and it is very lightweight just 3.5 kick of vram it is consuming which is always could be want our router to be very fast with a low footprint which you can see here is the case so pretty good i would say and the good thing for me is that not only you can customize it um per your use case whatever domain you have because if you look at it all of these tasks are coding related but they are different so maybe you have your own fine-tuned models for each and every task and you don't want one model to be used for all of these tasks you want specialized model and similarly in medical domain for example you have a model fine-tuned for uh, cardiac one for maybe cardio you know um some general purpose practitioner some for you know checking you know uh, for kids specialist for any other things and then radiologist or whatever and you want your you know router to pick the correct model for the correct use case that is how you can do it and you already saw that the memory footprint is low plus the speed is quite good that's it please let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support